Brianna and I are doing a tiny house build battle competition today. This is totally off center. We've got to redo this. That's Whoa, really cool. What is this? This is my tiny wife. Oh, are you ready, Bri? I'm ready, and I All know right. I'm gonna win. No, you're not getting it. Okay, I have no idea where Brianna went, but as you guys know, you guys have to decide who won. The time is ticking, so let's begin. Look at what we can create, ladies and gentlemen, with this mod. Anything we want to, and we could create even hollow blocks of things if we wanted to live inside of them by using our tiny hammer. How incredibly cool is this? This might be the coolest thing I've ever seen in Minecraft. I'm gonna need everybody watching this video right now to charge me up because I'm so tiny for this episode episode i need you all to leave a like on this video especially if you think we are going to crush brianna in this epic build battle competition wait we can make a lava block house no there's no way this is about to be reality oh my gosh dude wait a second so you're telling me right now we can actually build a tiny house with a block of lava. This is literally a lava house. Oh, but when you go inside of it, you actually catch on fire. So what we're gonna need to do to fix this up is we need to place a different floor. So with our little chisel, we're going to build a stone floor on the inside of this. We don't want our guests to go inside of our house and burn to death. That would probably not be a very good thing. Using our little chisel, we can actually make stairs by changing it to the slice mode. Watch this, it's so cool. Bedrock stairs to me are just really cool. So with this, we're gonna make a little miniature ramp so that when we go inside of our house, nobody is going to get set on fire. Wait a second. You can go through this? What? You can run through the house. So it is literally a block of lava that's just hollowed out that doesn't leak out to other areas. We are going to need to be very careful inside of here not to set ourselves on fire. Thankfully, we have creative mode, so that shouldn't be a problem. We're gonna get rid of this dirt block, and what I wanna do is I wanna continue to add more and more levels onto our house. So now that we've got this epic first floor, which is probably gonna be like our living room entrance, I want to build the next one out of water because I I think this is going to look so cool. I think I'm gonna make an elemental themed house. So with this again, this is kind of a hack, but what you can do is you place blocks next to each other, build them up like this, Check this out. Oh my gosh, dude. Oh, that is so, this is, this is so cool. We can't place ladders down. That's the one unfortunate thing. If we break the ceiling, we can get to our water house. We have to find a way to build a staircase upwards. I think quartz looks really good. And what we can do with the quartz is we could build a miniature staircase that kind of wraps up. So check this out. This is gonna be really hard to do. If we manage to pull this off, it's going to be so sick. So I'm gonna make our staircase come out just a little bit, not too crazy. I don't want to be like too obtrusive, you know? <laughs> dude. Guys, I think we are building the best tiny house Minecraft has literally ever seen, and I am so proud of it right now. When you're building a tiny house, you've got to put a lot of time into it. You just can't rush perfection, ladies and gentlemen. You know how it is. You guys watching this video right now are the most perfect viewers in the whole entire planet. Look at this staircase, though. This staircase is perfect. I did not think this was going to work out as well as it's actually working out. Oh, man, we're almost there. We are almost there. Ladies and gentlemen, we have done it the staircase is complete now the votes are coming in insanely fast helping me win my first ever kids choice award but i still need your help click the link in the description and vote for me as your favorite gamer this entire thing is this hollow just like the lava the water block is hollow which means we are going to need to add something to the walls that way we don't drown when we have guests over we do not want our guests to drown that is that's just not kosher building the world's tiniest elemental house house is no easy job. It's very, very tedious, but I think the payoff is going to be so worth it because when Brianna sees this, she is going to think that we cheated with how awesome this is going to look. I now have a lot more sympathy for people who remodel houses and do all of the hard construction work because this is not easy and every small pixel block counts. I guess in real life, that would be the equivalent to like a square meter or cubic inch. I don't know exactly how that works. Forgive me 
for my ignorance. Now that we've eliminated everything, what we can do is we can turn this entire area up here to quartz. That looks really good. We're gonna break the entire ceiling to the lava block that we placed down, and then we're just gonna replace it with quartz because I think it'll look a lot better. We are making history right here. Look at the history we are making. Yes! Oh my gosh, dude! Let's break this part. There we go. This is it. I love that we can see through everything, but this isn't even the best part because if we wanted to, we can actually add windows. So let's go back down to the first floor. We are going to erase a little bit of the lava blocks. I don't know about you guys, but I really like windows in my house. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna change the hammer to have a double cube size so we can make it a little bit easier on ourselves. I think we were kind of making it a little bit difficult with how we were doing things. We have spent 10 minutes already doing this very small thing to our house, but you gotta admit, this is very, very impressive, considering everything is perfectly walkable. Like, you can walk up in here, you can do whatever you want. We gotta decide what we want for the windows. Boom, boom. Oh, yeah, I love this window design. This is where we go back to our teeny tiny chisel. Now, we actually can use any kind of windows we want. I think for down here, orange stained glass is going to look really cool. Yeah, look at that. You can see through the house now. Except for the fact that I made this uneven. That's kind of triggers me, but it's okay. We're gonna match it up on the other side. I'm in love with this house. If this house was in real life, I would move in tomorrow. And do me a solid. If you guys love this house as much as I do, take the device you're watching this video on, turn it like this, and make that red subscribe button gray. And if you don't, I will have to throw Floopy off the microphone. He's okay, I promise. We gotta make it cool down here. This looks pretty good. Can we do glowstone? <gasps> we can? Bro, are you kidding me? And we can do wooden planks. So we're gonna do oak wood planks. Watch this, guys. We've got our oak wood planks right here. Then we can hang our glowstone light fixtures. I think we'll do one piece of glowstone like this. Oh, this looks so cool, dude. It's like the detail is so crazy to what you can do with this mod. Wait, 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 hold on. This is totally off center. We've got to redo this. I, we're redoing the chandelier because my OCD was hurting me and it was not perfect. But now we are going to make it even better. Oh, dude. Yup, that is it, ladies and gentlemen. The reason it looks so strange is because when you're building with this mod, it only builds like bits and pieces. So like if we do this, you can see it turns into a regular glowstone block. But if you place down like one piece at a time, it only places down that pixel of the block. It can look a little bit strange. And now that I think about it, we need a different ramp. You know, it's kind of a plebby ramp to go inside. What can we do that's gonna make it look even more epic? Epic. I mean, if we want to be really crazy, we can do diamond because why not? I think everybody watching this video right now likes diamonds. If you don't like diamonds, you're kind of crazy because diamonds are awesome. Yeah, okay, the diamond looks really good. Dude, if we wanted to, we could even decorate our floor and kind of go crazy with it. So we could break a few speckled pieces around in the floor. And if you wanted to, we could leave it like that. Kind of looks like Swiss cheese. I don't really like that. So what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change it back to a box, and then we're gonna change this. I don't know what I'm changing this to, okay? This is a work in progress. Does in stone look good? Is this gonna look weird? Oh, I kinda like it. I don't hate this. I think it makes our house look very unique, okay? This looks like we made some kind of brand new ore that's never been added to Minecraft before, right? This looks like bronze ore, if bronze ore existed in Minecraft. One thing that we need is like, we need some chairs. We can't have this big, beautiful house and not have any chairs to make this place feel like we are at home. We're gonna make us like a chase lounge. Oh, we could even add some arms to it. <laughs> this looks so cool. I think this part's a little bit too big. Yeah, 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 let's go, let's go, yeah. This looks much better, plus, if we make it this size, we can make another one that is the exact same size. I'm gonna have it like a little bit more back up against the wall. Oh, dude, check it out, dude. Custom chairs made downstairs. That should be like a slogan for a new company. Now, do we wanna like change the color of these? Cause technically we can add pillows. Watch and learn, ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna change this to white wool. This literally looks like a sofa cushion, right? Does that look like a sofa cushion? Oh, I love these chairs. <laughs> Dude, my brain is like going a million miles an hour now that we've done all of this like design work for the house. But what are we gonna do up here? I think up here would be the perfect bedroom. 
I don't know, I feel like it's really relaxing to see all of the water. So before we build the bedroom, I think we should do a bedrock gate. We gotta keep people out that we don't want to come inside. Cough, cough, Brianna. And what we could do is we could switch it over to, wait, we could do a cylinder wall. Whoa, whoa, what is this? Wait, that's a cylinder, wait. We could use that for a table. Ladies and gentlemen, here it is. This is our very, <laughs> very small, but efficient bedrock wall. Small but powerful, ladies and gentlemen. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, dude, this looks so cool. I want the walls to be a little bit higher. Somebody can easily just literally walk over this wall, but if it's two blocks high, you can't just walk over it. So we're gonna keep adding on to our wall a little bit. On the back side, I think I'm gonna make it three pixels high. This is perfect. I don't know how to do this, but I wanna try to make a gate in the front. Oh, you know what? This actually looks really cool. Hmm, what goes on the top of our wall? Ooh, we could do TNT. Wait, is that gonna look weird? Oh, it kind of looks cool. These are small details that take forever to do, but in my opinion, they make the house look so much better. There is no chance Brianna's beating us right now. Like this, <laughs> this is so cool. Ooh, I like this little like, oh, yep, yep. This is making the fence look even better. Oh, ho, ho. yes. I love it. Wait, wait. We could draw on our house. What do we got to draw with it? We're going to use, wait, this might look really bad, so don't judge me. Yes, yes. Be honest, guys, in the comments. Is this making our house look more ugly? <laughs> Or is it making it look even better? I I, I don't know necessarily. <laughs> I tried spelling home and it didn't work out. So I'm trying to spell house, but there is no room for the E. Uh, this is looking kind of scuffed. Be honest, how bad does it look? It's supposed to be cool, okay? Companies misspell things all the time. You know, they wanted to look cooler. This is the house without an E and an exclamation point just so it is, uh, you know, um, symmetrical and it looks good. I don't know why we haven't done this yet, but we really should change our driveway out. It's looking kind of drab. What What is fancy? I mean, like, iron blocks are kind of fancy, right? Like, I like iron blocks. You like iron blocks? I love iron blocks. Yeah, look at that. Super fancy. You gotta have some grass. If you don't have grass in your yard, it looks a little bit strange. So I'm going to add all the grass back over here. You know, my house does not have a very large backyard, but it's home, okay? And that is what matters. After all of this time we have spent building this, we can finally move on to the bedroom. We're gonna build the smallest, but the coolest bed ever. I think we're gonna use polished adenosite. We're gonna put it down right here. Yeah, there we go. Boom, that's the bed, but we gotta get some pillows up here. Some white wool over here. Yes, I would sleep in this bed. This bed looks so comfortable. Oak wood for our small little bedside stands. We need a really cool backdrop. Maybe stone, I think stone, like we need some gray. Stone bricks, where are you? Why can I not find you? There you are, stone bricks. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, look at that. I think we do need some more white wool over here just a little bit more to add to the detail and i actually kind of like it oh i like that way more dude wait i like all of this so much better i don't think we could have made a better bed anywhere else and if you want to get crazy fancy add a slice to anything that you're trying to do we can make little ramps over here you know what i mean oh this actually looks really nice in the middle but instead i'm going to do that with the white wool adds nice little small texture to it makes it look a little bit different and then with this, we could go back to the oak wood, add it to the tippity top, and boom, looking fancy. Oh, yes. Who here is with me? I think we need a flat screen TV. Obviously, widescreen only. Oh, dude, look at this baller floating TV. Now, underneath it, we got to add, like, some kind of a uh, console area. You know what I'm saying? Like, we can't just have, like, a floating TV. Let's go back to the black wool, add some speakers over here. Big speakers in the corner of our house. Let's put some speakers above the bed. Some speakers above the TV I think will look really cool. Yo, oh, dude! This looks so dope! To make it look more like a real TV, we got to get some wool. Yeah! Boy, that, ladies and gentlemen, is a television. Speakers deserve to have some shelving in place. Some floating shelves over here. I like that. 
Yep, I love it. I mean, we gotta have a place to put all of our shoes, right? Guys, I think we are done. This is it, ladies and gentlemen. Preston's tiniest two-story elemental house, complete with a gated fence, first-story living room, a second-story bedroom. If you have any other suggestions, please let me know because I'm stoked for this house. I think we are going to crush Brianna in the Build Battle Challenge. Brianna, the time is up. Come check out my house. <gasps> oh, no. Brianna, I can see a part of your house. No. No, wait, that's for my video. <laughs> okay, fine, fine, fine. If you, I'm shutting the door. Guys, if you want to see Brianna's house, you got to go to her channel, subscribe to it. Remember, this is a house build challenge. You got to watch both videos before you can decide which one is better. So, Bri, this... Preston, your house is tiny. It, well, okay, look. I'm kind of small, and uh, this house is only for me. It's not for us. So, <laughs> look, come check it out. You got to be kind of careful, but this... Why do I have to be careful? Did you no, there's no trap. So, I do have a bedrock TNT fence. These are small pieces of TNT on the outside with a bedrock fence to keep intruders out. Then, if you go up my diamond staircase, you can see the oh, bottom of my living room. Oh, are you on fire? It's... <laughs> so, it's because my, my walls are made out of lava. I've got oh. two little seating chairs over here, along with some floating stairs, so if you come on up. All right, so on the second floor, behind you, you will see the television with the double speakers above it. Are you sure that's the television? That it looks is. like a man's <laughs> face, a nose right here, no, it and is, even a smile. It is a television set, and you are standing on my custom, one-of-a-kind imported bed, which has two other speakers above it, with my shelves over here for my big shoe collection. I love shoes. So what do you think, Brie? Pretty sick? Preston, first of all, I need to know how you have water touching lava and nothing <laughs> bad is happening. Oh my god. That's really cool. I like it. Okay, it looks pretty sick. This is the end of the video, which means if you comment in the first 60 minutes of a brand new video being posted, we shall feature your comments right here down below. So join the notification squad. Have an amazing day. Let us know what build-off challenge you want to see next. And uh, take care, everybody. We'll see you all next so time.